A historic milestone for Philippine defense unfolded this week as the first batch of Guarani 6x6 armored vehicles arrived at the port of Santos, Brazil. According to the latest information from Brazilian defense sources, it has been confirmed that this marks the initial delivery of a total order of 28 units for the Philippine Army. A few months prior, the world witnessed the inaugural expedition of Guarani 6x6-wheeled APCs to the Philippines, a venture heralded by Technodefes's disclosure. The first five vehicles, symbolic harbingers of enhanced defense capabilities, set sail for the archipelago, marking the initiation of a transformative chapter in the Philippine Army's arsenal. The Philippines now stands on the precipice of a monumental leap forward in defense capabilities, eagerly anticipating the imminent arrival of the first batch of Guarani APCs. With the clock ticking down, the nation holds its breath, awaiting the tangible manifestation of a commitment to fortify its military prowess before the conclusion of 2023 or the dawn of January 2024. As disclosed by Brazilian sources, the Philippine Army is slated to receive the remaining 23 Guarani APCs in two phases, the first and second half of 2024. This ambitious timeline underscores the urgency and commitment to enhance the armed forces' mobility and protection. The Guarani 6x6-wheeled armored personnel carriers, a joint venture between Israel's Elbit Systems and Brazil's Iveco Defense Vehicles, represent a fusion of cutting-edge technology and international collaboration. The Philippines, at the forefront of this partnership, stands to benefit from the synergy of Israeli ingenuity and Brazilian manufacturing prowess. As the Philippine Army readies itself for the influx of these advanced Guarani APCs, the nation braces for a new era in defense preparedness. The imminent arrival of the second wave underscores the strategic importance placed on modernizing the military to effectively respond to evolving security challenges in the region. The strategic acquisition of the Guarani 6x6-wheeled armored personnel carriers positions the Philippines as a formidable pillar of regional security. As geopolitical dynamics continue to evolve, the nation's commitment to modernizing its defense capabilities not only ensures its own stability but also contributes to the broader equilibrium in the Southeast Asian region. In the coming weeks, as the Guarani APCs make landfall on Philippine soil, the unfolding saga will be closely watched by nations across the globe. The strategic significance of this acquisition radiates far beyond the archipelago, resonating as a testament to the interconnected nature of global security. In conclusion, the second wave of Guarani 6x6-wheeled armored personnel carriers embarks on a journey that transcends mere logistics. It symbolizes a nation's resolve to embrace technological innovation, forge international partnerships, and safeguard its citizens in an ever-changing world. The unfolding narrative, intricately woven with threads of anticipation, collaboration, and preparedness, heralds a chapter where the Philippines stands tall as a beacon of defense resilience in the Southeast Asian theater. First and foremost, Let's revisit the journey of Guarani 6x6 to the Philippines. Reports from defense sources indicate that this delivery is a major step following the resolution of a standoff with Germany, which had previously resulted in an embargo on crucial components of these armored vehicles. With the embargo lifted, the import of crucial materials such as ballistic steel, anti-mine protection plates, and periscopes could proceed ensuring that the Philippines receives the vehicles in optimal condition. The significance of the embargo resolution extends beyond the delivery of Guarani 6x6. It has a substantial impact on the overall capabilities and readiness of the Philippine Army. The lifting of the embargo paves the way for the Philippines to enhance its national defense, showcasing a successful diplomatic approach to conflict resolution and support for strategic interests.